I wasn't planning on making a review video for this war of mine, but when I was playing it, I realized something. It's dreadfully boring. Which is weird, because the premise of the game is incredibly interesting. You control a group of civilians caught in the middle of a war. You have to keep them fed, healthy, and happy, all the while repelling raids and scavenging to survive. How could this be boring? Well, Twom has two problems. Lack of narrative, and telling not showing. The first thing I'm going to address is Twom's lack of narrative. And part of the problem stems from the survival game genre. At first it seems to make sense on why the survival game genre was chosen. You're a civilian trapped in a war zone. You can't really fight, and all you can do is survive. It makes sense. However, survival games aren't meant for telling stories. They have an end goal that you build up to. Think Minecraft and killing another dragon. But they aren't good for telling stories, because the main point of the game is surviving. Nothing else really matters. Twom's main theme is decidedly anti-war, but because of the survival game genre, the war serves as merely a backdrop and an obstacle rather than the object of judgment. You are simply told that war is bad and it messes up people's lives, but that's it. The game doesn't explore the topic any deeper. A topic as heavy as war, which in video games is often glamorized, warrants a deeper exploration than a simple survival game will allow. If Twan wanted to be a bitter condemnation of war, then it needed to choose a game genre that was not so limiting in focus, which would literally be any other genre. Also, Twom could have showed the uh, war from a different perspective, like from the perspective of a soldier or a smuggler, or perhaps a person in charge, like a politician. That would open up more opportunities to expand on Twom's anti-war theme. The second thing that makes Twom boring is it tells a lot. Twom tells you when your character's sad, hungry, sick, or wounded. It tells you their backstories. It tells you that you could have saved that woman who was getting brutalized by one drunk, drunk soldier, but you chose to play it safe and get loot. Yes, that happened. I was looting a supermarket, and there was a soldier and a woman. Big bad mean soldier did what big bad mean soldiers do. I used the distraction to loot the supermarket in peace. When I came back, there was a different woman there who proceeded to badger me about how someone... Someone... Could have stopped that one drunk soldier. This was a dull and ham-fisted way to make me regret my decision. I couldn't roll my eyes hard enough, and I debated on whether or not I should bludgeon the woman to death to get her to shut up. In my defense, I couldn't tell that the soldier was drunk. I didn't know there was only one soldier. There was another instance when I met Pavel. Pavel had a son. How did I know this? I was told that he had the son several times, but when he died, all I said, whoops, that kid's fatherless now. However, if Twom had shown me the drunk soldier drinking on that night, or Pavel looking at a picture of his son, my reaction might have been a little different. When you tell the see, when you tell the audience things, they just don't care. They don't have a reason to care. I didn't care about Pavel because I, I didn't have a reason to, you know, other than the fact that, you know, if he died, that would lessen my chances of, you know, the game. Twam all in all is an okay game. Not having a solid narrative kills this otherwise neat critique on war. The art and sound is nice, and having a different take on war is refreshing, but they could have done it differently. I rate this game a solid I won't feel guilty when I uninstall it because I haven't finished it out of 10.